Hi, I'm Tom from Cosmic Comic History, and this is your Cosmic Minute. And today we're talking about the Aquaman embargo. For decades, Aquaman had been the butt of every superhero joke there was. But by 2005, things seemed to be turning around for Arthur Curry. Aquaman had a supporting role on Smallville. He had a major storyline on the show Entourage. And best yet, he was about to get his own show. As a direct result of all this media attention, DC asked the writers of the wildly successful Justice League Unlimited animated series to use Aquaman sparingly and to stop using his supporting cast of characters altogether. For the writers of the Justice League Unlimited TV series, this was nothing new. They had been asked to go through something similar with Batman and his family of characters due to production on movies such as Batman Begins and the TV show The Batman. DC was worried that with so many different versions of the character across all of these forms of media that the average viewer would get confused. So they asked the writers to limit their usage, which is why we have the Aquaman and Batman embargoes. As a direct result of the Aquaman embargo, JLU used Aquaman sparingly and characters like Black Manta became Devil Ray. Mercy Reef, the live-action Aquaman series starring Justin Hartley, got lost in the shuffle when the WB and UPN networks combined to form the CW. Unfortunately, the series was not picked up. Luckily, in 2008, we got a big screen Aquaman movie, and it was awesome. I'm still Tom from Cosmic Comic History, and that was your Cosmic Minute. Until next week, be well and stay safe.